you guys. So Maybelline was kind enough to send me the fall shades of their Superstay Matte Lip Inks. I have the entire collection right here and also a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys are curious to see arm and lip swatches of the fall colors, then just keep watching. So I have nine of the shades in front of me. We have like the cool tone end. Then we have kind of the reds in the middle. And then some like pink and peachy pink shades towards the top end. And I have numbers 105 through 135. So let's jump in to swatches. My lips are already killing me, so why not add to the chaos? I'm gonna start on the high end and work my way to the blue because this is probably not gonna come off. <laughs> okay, so this first one is 135 Globe Trotter. It looks like a really nice kind of rusty orange shade. And I'm gonna do my swatches kind of close together so that I don't run out of arm space. So there is Globe Trotter. So here is Globe Trotter. I like this one a lot for the fall. Beautiful. Next we have 130. This one is Self Starter. It's like a nice rosy tone shade. That's pretty. That's like a your lips but better color. So, so here's 130 self starter. Next up is 125. This is Inspirer. I believe that's what it says. Inspirer. And this looks like a Barbie pink from what I'm seeing. Surprisingly, I think I like this one. It's one of the first pinks I've worn that I think I like. So here's 125 again. It's not too Barbie pink and it's not too bright. It's like a nice mid-tone pink. Next, we're moving into the reds. This is 118 Dancer. That one looks like an orangey red. I'm not sure if it's a cool tone red or an orangey red. From this swatch, it looks a bit orange tone. We'll see. This is actually really pretty. It is a warm tone red. It's not a cool tone red. This still makes the teeth look pretty white. So here's 118 Dancer. Next up, this looks like more like an oxblood red. Um, this is 117 Groundbreaker. Definitely more of like a bricky brown tone red than the other. Okay, so here is 117 Groundbreaker. I like this one. It's not quite as in-your-face bold red. It's just, it's nice and a bit more subtle. If a red lipstick can be subtle. Now we're moving into like the plum purple shades, the cool tone side of things. This is 115 Founder. Looks like a really nice plum shade. I don't normally do the plums, but I will try them on for you guys. That looks beautiful. I just don't know if it's the color for me. Okay. 
These are nice and opaque. I do have to say that. They're not patchy. They're not sheer. They cover really beautifully and they're very consistent as far as the color goes in the application. You kind of swipe it on and you have consistent opaque coverage, which I like. Especially with these deeper tones, it's hard to do that. So again, here is 115 Founder. I think I actually like the shade. So, so far all of these have been hits. No misses yet. Next up we have an even darker purple. This one is 112 Composer. I wonder what the inspiration was for these names. We have Groundbreaker and Inspirer. Now that one's like almost so dark it looks black to the eye, so we'll see. Now this one is a little bit patchy. After I just said that they're opaque and consistent and not patchy, I have a patchy one. Okay, I've done about two layers and it's still, you can still kind of see the stroke marks on this one. So this one is the first miss for me. But if you like this shade, apply a layer, let it fully dry, apply a second layer, and you should be fine. But here's 112 Composer. Again, not the shade for me, but so far we've had six hits and one miss. Not too bad. Now we have purple and blue. Woo. Okay, so next is 110 Originator. Like these are all like characteristics or like names of people, qualities of people. So here is Originator. Straight up dark purple. Okay, so here is 110, the originator. It's a really deep, dark purple shade. Not patchy like the previous one, but probably not a shade I will be reaching for much. So it's a hit as far as formula, but a miss as far as the color. But I know a lot of people love wearing these like deep vampy colors in the fall. So fun color, just not my personal taste. And I should mention it's the end of the day, so the makeup can be a complete mess after this video. It doesn't matter, it's all coming off. So Onto the blue. This one is 105 Explorer. And I normally love the way that blue lip products look on me. I just don't really ever wear them out of the house. So, we'll see. So here is Explorer. And it's like a navy blue shade. And here is 105 Explorer. Okay, so the rundown of the shades. Here again are all the shades that I have. I love all of them until about here. And then I don't find them as wearable, but that's just my personal taste in colors. I really love the packaging. I love that the kind of tube matches the color of the lip product. That makes it so much easier to find the shade that you want. I hate having to open all the lids, like the MAC lipsticks. You have to open every single little black tube to find the one you're looking for if you don't have the names memorized. I like that this makes it simple and easy to find what you're looking for. Second, I really love this pointed doe foot applicator. It has like the little slit in the middle for the product to sit in so you don't have to like re-dip multiple times. It has enough product kind of wedged in here to do your entire lip in one go. The point makes it very easy to outline your lips so you don't need a separate lip liner, which I appreciate. The formula dries down completely. It's fully matte. I just put this one on, but already dry. Um, transfer resistant. Um, I have worn these in the past, the previous shades, and I've really enjoyed them. They stay a little bit 
just a little bit sticky, nothing horrible, nothing truly noticeable, just ever so slightly sticky. Your lips don't stick together, it just feels like you have like a leftover essence of like syrup on your lips from eating pancakes, like ever so slightly. But I find that this formula lasts a really long time. I can eat and it's still on my lips. It doesn't kind of fade strangely, it fades really well. Um, so I personally really like these. Some of the colors are a miss for me, but the formula itself I find to be very good, successful, easy to apply, and affordable. So I hope you guys found this swatch video helpful of the fall shades of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. So I'm trying to take these swatches off, and they are not coming off. So if that shows you how well they stay just from being on a matter of minutes, imagine how well they'll stay on for a matter of hours. And I forgot to mention the giveaway. So Maybelline sent me two sets of these fall shades from the Superstay Matte Ink line. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one of these sets to you guys. So check down below for the giveaway details, when it will end, how to enter, etc. And good luck, everybody. See you next time.